Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now, we're currently continuing my grand plan to meet every demand for every resident at every tier, including all lifestyle tiers. Easier, right? Today, we're moving on to tapestries for the investors. Now, the investors, they take a lot, but we're starting to see the trickle-down effect work as we deliver goods for them that also meet the demands of others in the process. So, our population is back to a pretty healthy number, over 140,000. I think at our peak, we were somewhere around 145, so we're getting back there. Uh, for those who don't know, may have just joined or hopping through the episodes or whatever, we had a big war with Arthur Gasparov several episodes ago, and that knocked everything down in terms of money and manpower while he disrupted a lot of trade routes. But that was always the plan, of course. Alright, so, let's check in on our investors and see what we've currently got satisfied. We have the spectacles, the coffee, the light bulbs, the champagne, the cigars, the chocolate, and the steam carriages. No problems there, hopefully never. Although there's been a little debate in my Discord as of late as to whether or not, as they get their lifestyle needs and they start to fill up the household, right? They can go all the way up to 130, this particular household. The demands are going to increase for all of these things. Now, if that's the case, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life because, um... The way, only way we can kind of deal with that is factoring that in from the beginning and saying like, okay, we'll oversupply things knowing that these statist statistics are going to go off a little bit as the demand is going to inc you know, incrementally increase as they fill up their households. This, of course, was due to an update. When they updated the game to have the High Life DLC, it meant that the more people you stack into a household, the more they actually consume. So I think that's true of the rest of the houses, but it does mean that we might run into a problem eventually, where some of these things that I have satisfied, but just right on the edge, might not be good enough. But that is just a problem for another day. Let's just keep going. We did just recently do Bear Fur, and thanks to one of the comments, although I don't know if I actually saved it, there was a trade route that was wrong. Arctic to the Old World. Is it this one? No. Cape to the Arctic. This is what it was. Yeah, it's... It's corrected. I have it corrected now. So I just wasn't sure if I did that. I must have saved it. So instead of picking up the bear fur, I was unloading it. So it just reversed it. So appreciate the comment on that one. That's all good. All right, let's get rolling. Tapestries. I'm kind of low on influence. So at the same time, we're going to hop over to the new world. And we're going to kick into gear another soccer stadium Welcome event. The most magnificent meeting Been a little while since we've done one. <laughs> Those poor people cannot paint and resend the fire. So let's see what they need. Perfume. We're totally fine on that. Mezcal were very low indeed, so what I'll do is just tell them not to consume any. <laughs> uh, tortillas are fine and felt is fine, so we'll just turn off Mezcal for a little while. No problem, you'll be fine. Uh, so it looks like they'll sort that out, no issue, and we'll be back here in the future. Back to Embesa. Been another little while since we've been here, so what we're going to be doing is focusing on tapestries. So if we want to look at the top to bottom of this particular good, it's linseed into linen into indigo and then... Uh, tapestry loom. So, sorry, linseed into linen and then just separately indigo combined with the linen tapestry. Worst way of explaining it. You can clearly see it much better than I verbalized it. All right, so we're actually full on the storage here with pretty much everything. And I think that's just because trade routes have been disrupted, like I said, and it's not getting delivered anywhere. Um, so don't really have to worry about that. We're just going to start working away. I've been looking at the statistics bet between episodes so I can kind of gauge what I need for this. Now, actually, something I just remembered. I've got an item here in Swords. We actually dealt with it in a previous episode for Cloth Industries. I'm just going to have to send a ship. Uh, let's get an airship to do it. So back here for a moment. We'll grab an airship. You go to... Actually, stay where you are. I know what to do. Right, here over in Swords, we'll access the airport. We'll load up our character here, send them to the New World, hop on the airship, and then fly down to Embesa. What we're looking for is the Hopedale Loom. And we had this actually just recently. So that's going to be productivity 40%. Uh, workforce needed negative 25%, so we should be good. Alright, so we'll wait for that just to move over here, and we'll pick it up with this guy in just a sec. Let's just speed up time, because it's going to take a minute. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be combining this with two other items. There's an upgraded version of this loom. We're going to throw that in there. And then I think I have another one that changes the workforce requirement to not actually need elders, but instead just use the shepherds. Ready to fly. Because we're going to be needing a lot for this industry, I think. Uh, so there she is. All right. Mbesa Tabarim. We'll see you soon. 
All right, we're back. We can just focus up now. So here's the deal. If we open up all islands, consumer goods, and then we look into tapestries, we currently need 20 tapestries per minute. 20 tons of tapestries per minute. It's a lot of tapestries. Uh, we're just about producing nine if all things are rolling, which they're currently not. But what I'm going to be doing is we have a, a trade union here. And the optimized automatic loom is giving us 50% productivity with a reduction of 25%. And that's almost good enough, but it's not quite what we need. So let's just put this one somewhere up here. Or somewhere where we're not using territory right now. Yeah, I mean, event. I think I'll have to move up here. I'm just going to bring this down this way. Oh my god, we have so much wood, actually. That's for all the paper. Let me get rid of that. <laughs> That'll be fine. Because we can just make ones of timber on some other island, or maybe even import it in Docklands. I don't know if it's a Docklands capable thing. So, let's copy out another trade union. Uh, somewhere like there. And then we'll just throw down these buildings. So, we're going to need all the looms that we currently have. Which is three. Rotate these around, I guess. Just put this in somewhere for the moment. And let's see what we can work with here. Uh, to make it super even, maybe we could do that. Okay. So that's three. I think we need five. That's my guess. So let's try five. And that's all within the ra radius of this. This is going to be a cloth industries focused trade union. And we'll put any other cloth industries around it. So they need linen as well. And we have five linen. Okay, so let's just um, grab this one, move it there. Grab this one, move it there. I'll just grab these two. Let's bring these up as well. All right, and then the last one. That was it, yeah. Just making sure. All righty. So they're all going to be affected by this. We'll obviously just have to put it in a bit of a line. Um, so it's the same size as that, which is nice. Two on each side, maybe. Now, I think I'm actually going to probably need, like, eight. So we could get another one there. One there. There and there. And, of course, this is going to require a decent amount of warehouses. Maybe on both sides. So something like there and there. Now, again, all this aesthetically, I know this might be slightly frustrating for some people, but aesthetically, these things may change. It's just there's no point making a little village look awesome and then having realizing you need more houses or something, having to redo it all. So our workforce is falling. Now, the interesting thing with the lifestyle, I'll have to get that in a second, is, of course, we're able the potential here to double the amount of people, effectively, that are living in these houses, and therefore the workforce means that, you know, we can always look at these numbers and say, like, well, we've currently got 1,700 elders, but in theory, we could have about 3,000. So I don't need to be putting down extra houses yet. We just have to be able to deliver them what they're requiring. Now, one of the items I noticed that we had already was this guy here, Magan, the Master Craftsman, affects tapestry looms and the ceramics workshop, substituting the workforce for shepherds instead. So that's the first item we'll throw in there. The next one's going to be the loom that was actually down this no, way anyway. I so we'll kick that out. So we had something here doing ceramics and farming. So it was a real hybrid, weird area. Well, not weird. It was just I was lacking influence, so I had to combine different industries and get boosts, boost all of them rather than just boosting one. All right, so the optimized loom is in there now. And I'm going to be waiting on that airship to arrive back. If we just maybe hop out and see if it's arrived yet. It's coming close to getting into the session. Um, so what is it doing? It's doing 40%. So even just, just really quickly, we'll just bump this up to 40% just so I can gauge the statistics correctly. So that's affecting all cloth industries. So it's affecting the linen as well, which I is nice. We'll right. So now that we've boosted it, now, one thing that's a little misleading is our workforce is slightly under. So we're not going to be 100% optimal right now. It says base productivity 91% because that's how many people aren't working. But we can still gauge this pretty well, I think. So let's have a look. All industries now. We'll just have a look for tapestries. We're at 21 over 20. Hmm. 
It's a little close, <laughs> but it's enough, in theory. Alright, look, let's look for something like linen now. That won't be enough. Alright, so they're consuming 40 and they're going to be making 33. I don't know though, are they getting everything they need just yet? We did boost it. I feel like even though we've boosted, it's not taking effect because they keep stopping. Hang on just one second, let me check something. New orders. I'm going to pick up the goods. For instance, all of this. Let's move it there for a second. And then pick up all those tapestries. Alright, so now they've got room to actually bring up their productivity. I'm just kind of curious to see if that makes a difference. Or does it set it as soon as you set the items in there? Anyway, where's that ship? Going. It's basically here now, so just transfer that in. Thanks, Benty. Don't think you'll be getting any more. All right, so that other loom is in there, which means we can cancel the little mini buff I just gave ourselves. So, oh, actually, that's nice. We save ourselves on the workforce just slightly. I suppose we could probably push it a little harder if we wanted to then. So intermediate now, we're 32 over 29, but if we check all islands for linen, we're still short. Now, it's all made here at Tabarim. A little bit's made on Rock Lobster. And then consumer goods for tapestries. We're 23 over 20 now. So it did change a little bit for some reason. Because I was actually tempted to put another one down. But now I don't really think I need to. But it does look like we're going to need more linen. So maybe we'll just bump down two more. Forty-two for forty-two, but slightly low still. All right, they're all in. So we're negative twenty-five for workforce. I mean, it's really not that bad. They only consume 11, 12 people, twelve people. So if we just were to deliver, for instance, we were trying to make hot sauce in the last episode. We deliver that hot sauce, some ponchos, perhaps. Or perhaps the grain. Not to get ahead of myself, but just out of curiosity, how is the poncho situation? Could we just set up a quick trade route for that? We're apparently making more than we need globally right now. We made a Guadalmina. All right. I'd say let's set up a little ship to deliver some ponchos here if they need them. Trade routes, new worlds. And uh, I feel like it can just come straight here, right? It doesn't need to go to the old world or anything. Uh, I just want to double check that. Like we don't have any necess ne necessity for ponchos in the old world. I mean, they definitely don't. It's I'm thinking maybe artisans or like the tourists. These are the guys that I often forget about that might need what some stuff like that. Vision of yours. No, they seem good to me. What about the, the scholars? Scholars need those tapestries too. Uh, yeah, I think I'm okay. Just to triple check I've no these complaint. dudes. Nope. Oh, they take hot sauce as well. Did I see that before? I may have. Anyway. Alright, cool. Not a problem then. Um, yep. So, creating a new trade route from the New World. From, so Guadalmina, actually, yeah, actually, before I do that, let me just look what existing poncho routes do we have. I imagine there's a new world delivery. There is. So this means that we're picking it up here and we're delivering it to all islands, including Manola. So we'll pick it up from Manola then. So a new route, trade route, Manola to Embesa. Bring it straight to Tabarine, please. Would kind of make sense to have one of these islands be the, like on the edge, be a sort of a... Uh, Dockland type thing, uh, like a heavy pier focused island, maybe. There's a lot of. But anyway, I'll leave it. This place will have the most people, so it's probably most important. So let's go. Poncho. Someone also commented if you put the ship on first and you press shift click, you won't go all the way out to eight. I do know that. It's just a habit of mine to do it this way. But I find it funny. I mean, that is. It is a, it's true, but that is such a tiny, tiny little optimization. You could save yourself, you know, 0. 0.2 seconds if you uh, didn't click those two away, you know. Maybe it's taken me longer, actually, when I've got a lot of roots. So in fairness, that might be actually a bit more, a bit more accurate. Um, but yeah, I, I actually do know that. I, even when I'm doing it, I consciously think when I'm deleting them, I'm like, ah, put the ship on first. But it's just one of those habits, bad habit, you know. All right, and base it to the new world. So this is going to be Poncho. Im uh, import poncho. Import poncho. Um, I'm just trying to think of something if this ship needs to bring anything else. But anyway, let's just have a like, import poncho. Yeah, so what I wanted to check was wrong screen. 
let's just search search Embesa and we'll type in ponchos. So we have 10 per minute is what we need in Embesa. The only thing I was thinking is, do they need anything else that comes just from the new world that would also be around 10 per minute? Orchid, maybe. Orchid is there. We just set up goose feathers recently. The hot sauce comes from the new world. How much hot sauce do you guys need? Just two per minute. And then what about orchid? Five. Hmm. Four, one, and then one, maybe? Three, one, and two? That could work. A ship that's taking three lots of ponchos, two lots of orchid, and one lot of hot sauce. That would work. Yeah. So let's just uh, spec that ship to do that. Not that one. So we'll say hot sauce. Which they won't have it for a while. And then this will be orchid. That that roughly... So there was, this was 10 per minute. This was 2 per minute. And this is 5 per minute. So it's not quite right. But it might work out. <laughs> Worth a shot. So import... Um, New world goods. One. <laughs> New world goods. We'll just call it that. See how it gets on. So that ship hasn't even made it there yet, so it's going to be a while. But that should sort out the workforce issue for a little while and um, allow us to get cracking on the tapestries. So well, apparently we're making enough, right? We're making enough tapestries. We have enough linen, but we haven't gone all the way back to the base ingredient yet, which is indigo and linseed. So the... I suppose the other last thing I'd like to do is just set up a little local route here. Trade routes. Tabarim to Bird's Eye. Indigo Go. Clay Supplier and Rock Lobster. So a little route like that. I don't think I'm living on these other islands yet. And here, we'll just load up with um, the ponchos, for instance. We'll just do the same layout, I think. I don't see necessarily why not. Although the other one was for... Elders, and we don't have elders on every island, I guess. So let's just stick it with ponchos. And it's a longer route, actually, thinking about it, or it might be. Let's do ponchos in four slots. Let me just hit OK on that one for a second. That was the orchid. And was there anything else I just gave these guys? It was the hot sauce, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll probably just leave this... I'll just do all ponchos on this one. Sorry for being indecisive. What I'm thinking is, you know, we could have a route basically that goes around Embesa delivering things to the two different classes that we have, right? With two different residential tiers. So I'll make a ship dedicated to each good for each tier, probably. I was thinking like, oh, could we do one ship for each tier? Sorry. Instead, I'm going to do one ship for each good. Uh, I think that's just probably going to be better considering they have to go to a lot of places. All right, so we'll just call this an Embesa only route, and this one is just the poncho, so delivery, poncho, ponchos. Okay, bit messy, sorry about that, but yeah, we should be good to go. I'm just going to throw this stuff overboard. Well, actually, you could actually be the first guys delivering this home, so let's set that up to go to another route. Trade route, old world, nope, uh, well, yeah, whatever. Lusk to Embesa to Tabarine. You're going to pick up all of that tapestries. I'll just have one ship dedicated to it. Uh, wrong way around. Just made that mistake again, didn't I? Interesting that this split Lusk has full tapestry right now, but it's just not delivering it, I guess, to... The old world, or um, swords just yet. God, my mind is going. All right, let's get focused. Come on, Darren. Um, so the trade group for this, this is going from Embesa to the old world. This one is going to be an export of tapestries. There we go. Right, last route then. Create a trade route from the old world, from Lusk up to the investors at swords. 
Now this, maybe in future, can do some other things too. So I'll just stick it on two tapestries for the moment. Because I think it'll do other in base and goods. So we'll just call this, um, again, delivery and base uh, stuff. <laughs> and uh, just stick it in the old world. All right, there we go. So tapestries should start flowing. We haven't solved the actual main issue, which is actually the base ingredients. All right, so we have to do linseed and indigo to make sure that they're happy. Okay, so let's check the statistics on this. So we make linseed here, actually, in a few places. I suppose statistics is where we need to look. Linseed. Wow, so we need 49, so we need 50. Let's just say 50, we're basically making 20. And then we're also going to need indigo. We're just shy of what we need there as well. All right. So this is what our other islands are for. People mentioned, by the way, that this place is making spices and that you can make spices in the new world. I'm aware of that. But if we have an island dedicated to it, I wanted to kind of just boost what we had rather than setting up more hacienda farms with oil and all that over in the new world. It is true, though. Obviously, that would cut down on the, the transfer rates and, and everything. Maybe it would be better to get rid of spices here and just have stuff like indigo and just grow spices in the new world. I don't know. Kind of depends on what I end up with when I'm dealing with building this place out a bit more, like how much space I've got left. So we do need a lot of it for the orchards and uh, several other farms as well. And they have to be close to this area, right, for the hacienda. So still figuring that out. It was a good point, though. I thought I actually mentioned it myself, but I guess probably didn't. Um, and that's the reason that our workforce is tanking right now, because they're all trying to make hot sauce, and we're still not making close to how much we need. So it's fine. We'll have to get back to it and boost the Yonolero residences at some point. How are we doing for the uh, stadium event, by the way? Preparation's still in progress. Yeah, they have their mezcal. Cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Alright, all good. Anyways, so right, we've got indigo here. It's not moving at the moment. Yeah, it's not moving at the moment and we'll need one more farm at least. Although if we are planning on delivering fertilizer here, which hasn't actually yet arrived here, hmm, we could just stick a fertilizer thing on and then we'd be making more just like that. So we could do that. Maybe I'll just do that. There you go, there's your silo. Rotate it that way. All right, um, these ones not so easy. Maybe just leave them the way they are. I'm a bit low on fertilizer anyway, so not everything needs one. Let's see. Got some free space here. Yeah. The workforce required for this is so low. Let's just put down the tractor barn. Let's just see, 216 modules. Yikes. Yeah, apparently so. Okay. 216 it is. So we'll just go all the way up there. That's 177. And then we'll need to extend this canal. Do we have much canal room? Uh, 795, we're at 456. So yeah, we do. Yeah, so I guess this would have to go like that. Uh, not really. It's just, it just feels like a bit of a waste to try to connect this area. Oh, we can't go up that high either. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, that's it. That's the limit. There we go. Nice. 210 out of 216. It's 215. And then just to make it... Well, can we stick another module in here, maybe? Yeah, we can. All right, there we go. Done. <laughs> That's another one. So th that should be enough for now, right? Like, I might need indigo in the future for, like, um, what's it called? Like, uh, illuminated manuscripts or something. But let's just type in indigo. And we're at 32 over 23 now. And hopefully it should get up and running. We need to actually deliver it. So let's just set up a delivery route. Trade route from this island to this island. Just picking up your two goods, really. I guess you can get your spices and your indigo, because that's what this place makes. Uh, 
Um, just thinking, do I want to put Linseed on this island? Probably not. We'll just keep it to these two goods. Keep it simple. Okay. So now we're delivering it from here over to there. Straightforward enough. Got a lot of peers and things to help us do that. In fact, we've got too many of these. These actually look kind of cool. I might leave them there. But also thinking about it, it'd be kind of nice to have more peers and just stick them in here. But it would kind of ruin my little aesthetic, I guess. There's actually lots of room for extra peers on that island. It's good to know because I am going to probably make it that hub island where it gets lots of things. All right, so Indigo Sword, so Linseed. So there's no Linseed actually actually available on this island, but there is on the island Indiegogo, which I originally anticipated would be an Indigo island, but we'll use it for Linseed, I guess. We have all this space out here. We're gonna need a lot of it. Let me just redraw some of the canal space, because I feel like we can do it better than that. So it's gonna be a little difficult. The thing I usually struggle with when doing this is leaving space for the actual buildings themselves. So let's say, for instance, if we get something like tapestries, we get linseed. This obviously takes a bit of space in and of itself. And then if we have tractor barns on it, which do we plan to do? I don't see why not. I mean, just seems like a good idea to do that. It does mean we need an oil thing here, though, and just add it to the oil route. It's yet another thing that needs oil. A lot of places need that. Uh, I don't even know where we find that anymore <laughs> in this thing. So there we are. Right, so. Small oil harbor. It's just ones of timber and mud. That's all we need. All right, good. Let's stick it in there. Yeah, why not? I would actually maybe centralize it just a bit more. And then we need railway track, which is going to take steel beams, which we don't really have much of. We've got 150 over on this island, so maybe we'll just pick that up. Bring it over. Try to order some more from someone else. Let's see. Do I've got a ship that's capable of doing it? I've actually got a construction ship that's delivering it over here already. So I'm just going to manually take some with me. I'll just bring that to the to Mbesa. Should be more than enough for a long time. It's going to take a while to do it. Imagine loading up. How much is it? 400 tons of steel <laughs> and it's floating through the air. It's amazing technology. All right, top back down. Okay, so um, the steel delivery. We're on the wrong island. This is the one. I'm trying to think, should it be? There's no beach on this side of the island. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it here then. So, yeah, this is where we got to work and the. Other ship should be coming over to me any moment. Adjusting for winds. Yeah, I sent it to the wrong one. All right, anyway, we can still blueprint to start working this out. So we're going to bring in a rail line, and that's going to have the, of course, fuel station somewhere. I don't know, maybe up here. We'll see if we can get the road to go the whole way. That is a tough ask. We're, I'm basically trying to get it to all the way out this way, you know? It's a tough ask. So the question is, can we give these? And do they? what do they need for a tractor barn? Do we need steam motors? Oh my god. Need so many things. Alright, drop this all off. Get back over there. Um, we have 20 steam motors here. We can get the ball rolling. I'm going to have to order some from Lusk. This place has tons of steam motors, and we'll need a free ship to go and just pick them up. All right, so just wait for them to get there. Okay, so big industry. Want to do this right? Do it once and for all. Get a lot of... So here's the thing. On Tambourine, we make linseed, and it is using tractor barns and that kind of thing. Which is all very well and good, but it's just obviously not enough. And then the next area will be doing it here. But I think I might reserve some of this for population. I'm not too sure yet. If we have all these other islands, I feel like these are the important ones to just use for their space. Um, but yeah, it is a little tricky, obviously, with just having to get a railway line to go up here and just see how far will this actually reach in if it's a paved road. So let's just try to pave to here. Maybe bring it down this way. Need to leave a bit of a gap around it. 
Right, so that does reach all the way over here, no problem. Let's just see how far we really go. Yeah, even a dirt road, so that's great. Okay, we are, well, that's not too bad then. We can seem like we can move this even further back, should we wish. I won't waste the mud bricks just yet until we know our layout. So, what we need to do is basically give these guys some space each. And then slam in the tractor barns. Out of curiosity, we needed like to double our production. Um, so how many did I have already? Seven. These ones didn't have tractors though. Hmm. Okay. Because it might be the case that we put all the linseed on this island, you know? And then switch the other things over to something, some other crop, some other croppage. Alright, give me those steam motors, Engine's please. Alright, make your way to Invasive, please. Now, I've just noticed ships are waiting here. How many piers do we have? It seems like we've only got. Maybe the one? Wow, we've only got one pier. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Definitely need more then. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, it's time to get rid of this area. As nice as it was, it's gotta go. And dress it to look prettier in the future, but for now, it's all about new piers and speeding up the traffic. I keep going to the wrong island. <laughs> oh man, alright, cool. So at least the good news is we've got a decent amount of workforce to get us cracking on all this. And then they're going to need a warehouse, so we'll just keep working that out. So we've got this uh, free space next to us. Yep. And then we'll need to build a road. So we'll push this in one, because the road also takes up farm space, right? Oh my god, that was loud. And maybe this could cut across and just join onto. We do it this way. Join that way. Something like that's fine, I think. This will reach the whole way. Oh, it's just short, but that's fine because we have mud roads. Cool. And then on the other side, we can do the same thing and hopefully make up Wanted all this space. So it's 96, it says there. So what would it be back on this island? 144. That's what we're working with. 144 while we wait for our goods to be delivered. And ready to go. There's the first one. All right. So this obviously then needs to be irrigated out the back. Yeah, okay. Huh. <laughs> I just realized my, my issue here. So this actually needs to be on the in... No, I've, I'm totally confused. Bear with me a second while I work out how can we do this.
Alright, so I finally got a layout that I'm pretty happy with. I spent quite a long time going back and forth, really trying hard to put the farms on tiles that weren't already covered by irrigated soil. But then I just kind of thought, like, screw that, I'll just irrigate as much as possible. Try to be as efficient as I can with irrigating everything that's available to me without spilling over to the cliffs or anything like that. And then putting the warehouses at least in dry land, as it were. So that does seem to... At least it looks pretty nice, I think. I think I've covered a lot of good territory and we're getting all the modules we need. So I'm happy that I'm not wasting too much canal space, I, I don't think. It does, something just fundamentally does irk me about the fact that, like, these buildings are, are on irrigated soil and the roads and stuff like that. But, I mean... I guess that's just kind of the way it is. I mean, I'm, I'm certain I've done it before where things are a lot a lot of the time on the outskirts. And that's obviously the goal, right? To try and manipulate and change things so it's... The farms are all along the riverbed here and, like, all your cluster of actual buildings are here. So it's really efficient that way. And that feels really good to do. But I guess I'm happy with this. I need to maybe experiment and play around with it a bit longer when I'm building other farms in the future. And maybe I can get better at it. Uh, let's get rid of that one anyway. So we have to hook up the actual fuel supply. Um, so let's see. So we have our steel. We just need this to basically roll into the fuel station, which is here. Oh no, I didn't even realize. I'm missing um, reinforced concrete and windows. Crap. There might be some. Maybe. Over a tabarine. Just check really quickly. Ooh, 15 and 15. That might be enough to get the job done. And give me some of that clay as well, please. Alright, let's try that. So, 15 to 15. It needed 10 and 10. It needs 75 elders. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> I guess we're getting elders here then. The story is about a city like this one, where all was well. All right, that's a problem for another day. <sighs> Although it is a problem for right now, isn't it? Because we ultimately will have to do this. So dried meat and finery needs to be delivered here to get these guys to grow. Dried meat and finery. So let's see. Just do Mbesa. Dried meat and finery. So they have eight in terms of finery, and we consume three. So we're totally fine here. And the same for dried meat. So where does this come from? Tabarim. A little bit on some other islands. And here, Tabarim as well. Okay, easy. Easy. Let's see. Dried. Nothing. Finery. Finery supply. You're dropping it off at Tabarim. What's going on there? <laughs> how, about, how about we don't do that? Okay, let's try it this way. It did seem like it was getting produced at Tabarim from the, whoops, from the statistics screen. It seemed that way. Let's just cue that up. I'm just going to hit accept really quickly and just see, am I wrong in thinking this? Production. Tabarim has, yeah, six or seven buildings doing it and Rock Lobster has two. Maybe the route was just wrong. Finery supplies. So everything else can drop it off now. So let's try that. That's finery supply. So that's fine. Literally. And then we'll do the same thing again, but for dried meat. Okay. And just pick any ship that's here. Stick it in the Embesa route and call it delivery. Dried meat. I don't think I renamed the finery route. Supply is probably a better name, actually. Supply finery, but yeah. Delivery finery, we'll call it that. All right, so that should be sorted. So these guys should grow once they get those two things. Um, hey, they have hot sauce. Interesting. I don't even know how they've really done that, to be quite honest with you. Um, ponchos was another thing that they could actually have delivered around. So poncho delivery is coming. Oh yeah, yeah, it's getting moved around now. So the first batches have arrived. Wow, so Tabarim consumed all of it straight up. Although there's probably no reserved amount, so that's, that could be why. It probably just got consumed and then, yeah. Let's go ponchos. 
Just set a minimum here. Always try to keep 100. The session consumes 10 per minute, so it'll eventually get backfilled. So, what we need to do is, yeah, we've delivered that stuff. Have we? When we deliver the stuff, this can be built and then these can be worked. And then we have to set up a route going back the other way, delivering in the Lindsay. That's what we're here for. And then the Indigo as well. And then that's kind of that area done, hopefully. I'm hoping that when we fuel this, the statistics will give us the the outcome we desire, which is we're making enough, hopefully. Alright, so, might as well make this, boom, and we'll just feed this right now. So that's where it will go. Some things Don't know the workforce for it right now, but this actually reaches just pretty much that distance. It doesn't really go any further. So it's kind of a limit. We can't really push this back further out to the right or anything. Alright. Um, I suppose we could also, just while it's here, make use of the other side for irrigation capacity. Right, so something like you. Just rotate around and get in there. Might be able to fit two of these. I just hope the warehouses can take it, can handle it all. Yeah, it looks like we can. Let's try there. Hundred and forty four. So that's eighty nine. Okay, well we've got room for a little bit more. Come on. We can do it. If not, we can take the tractor barn off. No big deal. So it's gonna be hundred and four and then we could fill this area. It's hundred and thirty one. Yeah, I'm gonna take the tractor barn off this one. And we'll just let it do its thing at 96. In fact, probably get rid of that bit as well. Alright, that's 96 out of 96, and that allows us to put back in our road. Do have a bit of wasted space in there, but eh, whatever. Uh, just sand it. Sand it over, man. Can make some nice ornaments in the future. There's no beautification menu here. Interesting. I think I said that before, actually. Alright, so we'll do something with that in the future just to make it look a bit nicer. But yeah, there we go. Linseed. A lot of linseed. Hopefully. But uh, it is dependent on getting these guys to grow. And considering that they have hot sauce and ones of timber, they'll also get their ponchos soon. Tef grass supply. Okay, get this out of the way. Get this out of the way. Alright, so just to focus up a bit. So we also need to deliver in oil. Um, will be the another, another thing. So we'll just have a look for the oil route that's in Mbesa, I think. Oil supply. Just going between two islands. So you can go between this one now as well. Load here as well. Okay, so we've just added that on. Nice and easy. Um... What else? So is our championship game done? Yes, it is. Can I paint you with one of these? Give me the loot. 150. Just like that. Easy. All right. So we can now make some more ships because that's what I'm in need of. Um, I kind of want some more world-class reefers if we can get them. Four of those, please. And then, yeah, just a few more cargo ships. We'll add to a session in the future. All right. I feel, um, yeah, fairly scatterbrained today. I'm not really too sure why, but I had another thing that I wanted to get done. Something I'm after forgetting. Oh, yeah, we just need to send over the actual stuff. <laughs> that's that's what it is. Um, so we need a ship for Linseed and a ship for Indigo, right? I don't know if I did the Indigo route. Can't quite remember. So let's just see. Indigo. Alright, this ship's doing things already. 
Bird's Eye is already having this picked up and Beeswax. Not too sure about that. Um, let's just delete this route. So forget that. This is the one we just set up. Yeah, delivery spices and int. Okay, got it. Create a route, trade route. We're going to go from Indiegogo to Tabarine. Hey, they have their dried meat now. That's good to see. Do they have their finery per per chance? This city Not yet. is a magnet for genius. Spectacle maker. Um Linseed, there we are. It's gonna be high volume, so that's fine to have one ship here. Or um yeah, one dedicated ship on it, I think. Alright, delivery, linseed. All of this, man, just for tapestries. So crazy. The next ones I'm really scared of. The ones in the new world. Alright, delivery, linseed. Indiegogo to Tabarine. Done. And there, Tefgrass supply. Is that because you guys need Tefgrass or something? What Hi. needs Tefgrass? Oh, animal farms, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> uh, all right, let's maybe just tidy this up just a little bit, seeing as we're here. Make a road that goes out like that. And I think from here it could go up, instead of all this crisscrossing. There we go. Nice little boulevard before we hit the uh, the actual docks. Pave the docks. It's taking shape already. Can't wait to get back to some beauty building. Um, right, well, ultimately I'm just waiting on these guys to get what they need so we can upgrade them. So let's just speed up time. We're waiting on the finery. Or we can make a manual delivery. No one would complain about that. Give me that damn finery. On our way. And then we just need a very small amount of um, elders, right? Just a very small amount. I think we had some on this island too, for the same purpose. And they don't require too much if you don't build them up too much, right? I didn't even give them ceramics because I didn't need to. I guess in future I probably will. They actually need herbs, orchid, those are the things that we could deliver in. That'll bolster them as well, actually, which is nice. All right, there you go. You have your finery for days. So we'll just speed up time, let these guys reach their capacity, and then upgrade them. So obviously they can upgrade normally when they hit 10, but they're getting some of that stuff because of the lifestyle, which is cheating them through it. There we go. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, so to get to 75, I think we need about four or eight houses. Cool. It's as easy as that. So now we have this operational. Now we just need to deliver in some oil. And once the oil gets here, then the tractor barns are all operational. So we've got 982 oil here. Boom. Give me more. So where's the oil ship right now? It's making a delivery here. And then next stop, our lovely little island of Indiegogo. Get its first batch of oil. We could upgrade this too. Why not? Then it goes to, to here. Oh my dirty. god! I just realized. I can't have that. Sweet. All right. So they should get their oil. We should basically get it up to about 75 if they could just grow a smidge. Can you ever grow a little bit? You're staying at 10. Oh, because they lose the lifestyle, don't they? Right, yeah, the they lose the lifestyle that I'd already awesome. given them. Interesting, yeah. So I guess it will need that other house as well then. All right. Hey, the train is rolling. All right. We're in business. It's taken a little bit of effort, but we're there. So train comes in. Boom. Oil. Oil rolls out. They start turning into fuel. That's what these elders are doing. They're the only ones that know how to do that. 
and then our first few trucks will start making their way to the farms. There we go. How good is that? <laughs> future will probably keep that away from the... Um... Yeah, actually we can do it now. Why, not? Why stay in future? Oh, I'm missing that construction material. Well, screw me then. I was going to say, yeah, just get it away from the irrigated soil. But anyway, our little vehicles are rolling out now, delivering the fuel to all the different places. Hopefully two fully upgraded warehouses can handle this. And then now that they'll have their fuel, we can check against the... What's it called? Um, statistics, see if they make it enough. Linseed. And if they are, then we can say we're done with this area for a little while, as they are now supplying, hopefully, the old world with the tapestries they need to get our investors super happy. We're up to 147,000 now, so we are seeing progress. Mm -hmm. All right, good job. Let's just pull over the last little bit of material that I'm missing then. This can stay in here. We'll get those mud bricks. Bring it over this way. And once we do that, we can just fix that road. Has me bothered. Um, don't know if you need to deliver this in here, but if you do, yeah, there you go. You just have it back. Nothing's wasted. All right, linen is totally full though, so this will be this will be wasted. I don't know who else needs linen if it's needed for anything else. I feel like I've seen it in the new world as a requirement for something. I'm sure we'll find out. It had a fairly high requirement before we even started doing stuff with it. No warehouse in range. Really? Oh, because I cut the road. There you go. Things are hard enough as it is. Airborne and ready to go. Dislikes me increasing the workforce of people. I don't know. I didn't think I was doing that anywhere. Hmm. I'll have to find out where that is in future. I think it might be Cape Trelawney. Anyways, right, so the train's rolling. Everyone's got their fuel. All right, so that should be it. So let's have a look now. Linseed. Oh my god, I'm just short. But that's okay. We can just put down some regular ones. No oil or train required. Um, well, actually, we could still do the tractor barn somewhere maybe out here. Yeah, I don't see why not. And have a nice, what's it called, storage thing here. And then we got lots of room to use this soil along the riverbed. Keeping it nice and natural. A fire broke up. Oh my god, there was Arctic gas explosion right at the beginning of the game, wasn't there? Yeah. Right. Got it. Okay, pig farms exploded, I guess. Is this done? I didn't expect you there. 144. Just like that. Easy. And just for good measure, we'll get a little bit more, I think. Just fill in all of this little area here, bring it up to the edge. I want to get it to 144, something like that. And I'll just leave that so I know in future what to do with it. So I've gone over the limit, and I'm on some dry soil. I don't know if that matters. Hmm. Hold down Alt to place fields on both. Okay. Yeah. Alt and Shift. Looks a little weird, but I'd rather fill it in than have nothing. Cool. Alright, so that should be enough then. So they have all their fuel. Uh, oil is still fine globally. I'm not worried about that. And um, we've got room for more different farms and stuff to go along the edges here. Other storage buildings maybe as well. Good. Storage seems fine. Is it busy? Yep, the icons are on, so it's not busy. And yep, yeah, cool. Fuel has arrived. Alright, that feels good. We actually... I, I did it. <laughs> I was just really struggling when I was getting the layout of that. But that means that's, that's tapestries top to bottom. So let's just follow the chain. All islands, linseed. We now produce enough globally. Indigo. We now produce enough globally. And that makes linen. Intermediate. We produce enough globally. And that also combines with... Well, that's it, isn't it? It just makes tapestries from there. 
And that's enough globally. So we did it, top to bottom. And we freed up space here to do stuff in future now, right? This all this empty no, terrain or area. Make do we we could probably I do have. stuff with like um, the luminar and illuminated manuscripts or lanterns, candles, that sort of thing, ceramics. That'll be po probably boosted here in the future. We're lacking tobacco for the clay pipes. There's still lots to be done. All right, let's hop back over to the old world. We'll check our investors. They have their tapestries. Feels good. So I just wanted to make sure, because I did give them sort of tapestries early on. Tapestries from Mbasa to the old... So I do have a route there. Export tapestries. I got two routes doing it. These guys are doing it already. <laughs> okay. And this is the one I just set up. Funny how that works. They're literally named the same thing and everything. Uh, okay, well, one of them isn't needed then. I didn't realize we had a route there. It makes sense why Lusk was just full to the brim, though. So there's two ships doing it. I don't think we needed to, but sure, leave it as is then. And then it's just the new one that's delivering it to... Uh, to these guys, yeah, which are gaining as well. 140 and gaining. So that's good. Yeah, good. So two delivery of two slots is more than enough for them, it seems. All right, so we've got some ruins. Let's just fix them. No more ruins other than that. There's actually a fire here. Wow, you should be so lucky. Really. Ranger station. I've got no wood here either. God damn. There's so many problems. Alright, so what will be next on the list? I feel like this whole episode is just dedicated to one particular good, but it is sorted now, hopefully forever. We produce three tons more than we need. Um, so next is going to be perfume, fans, and film reel. So perfume. That's using Orchid, right? Let's have a look at how it goes from top to bottom. So perfume, wood and corn into ethanol. We've got lots of ethanol here. Orchids and then perfume mixture taking artistas. Also mixing in the orchid, orchards for coconut oil. So right now we have six, is it? Six on the island. And I think that's like nowhere near what we need apparently. Yeah, we need like double that, literally. So we need 12. That's a lot. We do have a lot of workforce for that, though, so I guess it's not really a concern. I'm trying to think, like, oh, we could put down a trade union and find some items for it, I guess. If you're going to have 12 buildings doing something, it's... Arguably, arguably, it makes sense to try and figure out how to boost it, right? So, yeah, I don't think there's anything that will deal with this specifically. It's all production buildings. Like, I know I can put ferris in and stuff like that. I get that. Um, what about the actual ingredients? No? Perfume? Alright. We'll leave it then. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. So, they're taking in that ethanol. Ethanol is missing raw wood. Seems like we just made a delivery of that. Wood is going to have to come in from a dock lens and just have a route that delivers it to all islands. There's no point actually making it. It's too... The volume required for it is far too high. The good thing here with ethanol, though, is that we have more than we need, at least right now. So let's just put down the top tier of buildings we need, right? We need, we know that I need at least 12. We've got six at the moment. They're improved by electricity. So let's just start a new area for it. And again, this will all probably move. I'm just trying to... I'm getting low on space, actually, thinking about it. But yeah, let's just do this. This is turning into a bit of a factory area. This definitely will move, 100%, because it's going to be used for farmland in the future, but I don't know where yet. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. That's what we'll need, and then we got to move the other ones over here. I feel a bit bad, because I remember doing, um, yeah, I built this little pipeline to make it look like, you know, they're piping the ethanol in and stuff. But again, until this place is all settled, there's no point really building anything nice looking, because I just don't know when or where it's going to be used. Alright, so let's give them two warehouses either side. Upgrade those. So what are we missing now? We're just missing just planks. Yeah, we ran out of planks a while ago. Now, again, I was making fun of these guys. That makes them. There is a delivery, a construction delivery ship that delivers stuff here. So it's taking it from Lusk. It's delivering a bunch of other things. But it is supposed to hit all the New World islands. So the other islands are all pretty much full up in the New World, I think, of this material. Yeah, they've got thousands. It's just Manola is the place where I've been building so much that we've consumed it all. Um, 
We've got a fleet of ships just waiting here. Holy crap. What are you guys waiting on? Coffee? Wow. All right, we need even more piers as well then. I'll have to build some of those specialist piers perhaps also. God, here as well. What's going on? Long loading time, so we'll have to get ourselves some items too. Space out here to do more also. Feels good. How big is that hacienda? Tending to make spices on one of these islands. Yeah, so I'm just going to pull across some extra wood. In fact, if we go to this island, it's a bit closer. <laughs> cotton. Are you full on cotton or you don't have enough? You don't have enough. These are all turned off anyway, though. And then we're full up on ethanol again. Yeah, <laughs> so much consolidations needed to be done on this place, but... All right, so give me all the wood. Holy crap, man. That's crazy. Yeah, we'll just open up a bunch of more more piers. Why the hell not? Got free space out here anyway. Cut down on the traffic. We'll fix it in post. Whoa, the speed of that thing. Engines engaged. Now, none of these are specialists, right? It might be a good idea. Yeah, like coffee being one or something, because that, that probably just takes a long time. It's always, like, full. It's got many ships doing it. It's interesting, though, seeing it. So many ships. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's free up some space for these guys. Ooh, the base. All right, cool. So there they are. That's the amount of perfume buildings we'll need. I just wanted to get them all in place so then we can accurately gauge. Like, what else do we need now? You know, how much orchid do we need, for instance? So 27. And we've, hey, we're currently making 40 on the island of Alicante. So still more than enough. More than enough. So that's already settled. We had the workforce for all of this, so that's no problem. The ethanol. Globally, ethanol might be okay. High pitch voice. Uh, yep, yeah, 56 for 56, we might need one more. I'm just gonna make a note of that, because that is on the edge, but technically it's actually fine. I'm just making a note that we're definitely gonna need more. Uh, and then coconut. Coconut oil. Yeah. Orchards are gonna be my big problem. I just know it. That's why I've kept a lot of these New World Islands for myself, just so I can spam it. So that'll be the bottleneck, really. So we do make coconut oil here, just I need trade unions that boost it. So I've done it before where on this island, for instance, we have a trade union. We're affecting quite a few of them. We have the orchard boosts. I might copy this, make it a blueprint and just dump it down in other places where we need it. Same with out here. These are all full actually. They're doing like uh, citrus. They still need to be delivered. Um, so I can definitely optimize, use these items again. So I'll have to queue them up in the research institute. Let some time pass by and then get cracking on them. But that should mean that perfume will be deliverable back home. We're just lacking coconut oil, really. All right, I think I'll have to call it there. We also need to boost the Yonalera workforce to be able to work these buildings. They need teff grass. Yeah, interesting. And they're short on reaching the cinema where they are as a side thing. Well, how hard is that to give them a cinema? <laughs> oh, but the cinema produces film reels, doesn't it? Or, or, I mean, it uses them. Which we have a lot of. But we're going to need way more when we deliver it. Yeah, that's interesting, actually. I forgot about that. But yeah, just give them a cinema. Do they need electricity? Well, the whole island has it, doesn't it, actually? Yeah, so that's fine. There you go, guys. Brand new cinema in the middle of nowhere. But that number should come up now. And it's getting worse. Oh, they need to get their film reels. That'll be the last thing I'll wait for. But yeah, that's that's basically going to be it for this episode. We got a batch of new influence. We sorted out tapestries. We fixed a few of those chains for the longer term back in Mbesa. We seem like we're okay for perfume. The one that's going to be really difficult is sending back the... Is it fans? As well as film reel, I think. So that's going to be difficult for the investors. But we'll get there. 
It's just a matter of filling up these islands with what they need. Alright, the cinema is active, which means our Yonaleras are getting happier and happier. Plus two. There they go, they're already... Wow, we've already done it, but apparently we're obviously just lacking other things. Alright, well, I'll have to call it there. So, yep, I'll be back hopefully shortly in a new episode featuring the remnants, the last remains of what we need for these guys. So we've done the wealth category. That's done now. An Easy. <laughs> in one of your factories. By the way, it's crazy how much mail gives you. 154, whereas Tapestry's only giving me 13. Not that the money's an issue. Oh my god, we hit a billion. Didn't even notice. Nice. So yep, perfume. Then it's going to be the fans and film reels. So that is, that is pretty tough. Just because of the amount of celluloid and... You know, all the orchards that are needed for this stuff. That's that's a difficult one. So we'll have to pull together a few of those orchard items and blueprint an area and hopefully really ramp up the production of that. All right, that's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Consider liking it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and if you want to support even further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get early access to my videos ad-free, and also access to my Discord, where we've just set up a new Valheim and Satisfactory server for people to play on. Hopefully we can grow a community and add more games and perks in the future. Either way, I appreciate people just watching this far into the video. Thank you.